So I thought I'd show you uh, how the cruise control uh, speed controls work. So I jumped onto a highway here. Um, by the way, the speed limit right there is being calculated, I heard, from uh, a database instead of reading the speed limit signs. That's good and bad uh, on roads that don't aren't mapped yet. You don't get a speed limit for cruise control to adapt to. And then, but perhaps, uh, like I just got on this road, it knew it was 55 well in advance of uh, the first speed limit sign. So uh, one click down here on the stick uh, puts you into cruise control and it goes to, uh, by default, the speed limit uh, plus your offset. So the offset is uh, in here under uh, driving, uh, oh no, autopilot, and then settings, there's your offset. I have a plus eight offset and that's why it went to 63. Then uh, single touches on the plus and minus sign here go up by one mile an hour or down by one mile an hour. A touch and hold uh, takes you up to the next five position and a down and hold takes you down to the next five position. So it doesn't go by fives when you touch and hold, it goes to the next five uh, position. I press the, uh, that's interesting, I press the power pedal. Let me try that again. So I'm gonna put on cruise control and then touch the power pedal. Maybe I touch the brake. I don't know, that was weird. So I'm gonna go down, touch the power pedal. I must have touched the brake that popped it all out of cruise control. So that's how you uh, adjust your speed in cruise control. Uh, you can also just touch the speed limit sign and it'll go to your speed limit plus your offset. So if your offset is zero, you're going to be able, you'll start at the speed limit and uh, when you touch the speed limit sign, just switch to that speed limit. Um, as you change to uh, roads with different speed limits, I don't believe it auto adjusts to the current roads speed limit uh, with your offset. I think once you have engaged uh, cruise control, it's going to stay at that speed. So if you drive into a side street with a lower speed limit, uh, you're going to have to manually either touch the speed limit or um, uh, uh, go down or hit the brake to come out of cruise control. I guess lastly, uh, how difficult or how hard is it to reach that if my hand's here holding the steering wheel, it is... Uh, like an inch or two, uh, I can even reach it with keeping my hand on the steering wheel, but uh, it, it is relatively close. Clearly not as convenient as the twists uh, up and down of the uh, cruise control stick uh, that was over here on the left side with the Model S, but it's not too bad, and since it adapts to your speed, um, it's uh, pretty good. Actually, uh, we're going to be going, getting on a highway here, so, oh, it lost my speed limit. Now, this is interesting here in that I believe my the speed limit for this highway will pop up pretty soon. It did yesterday. Uh, I'm still just on the ramp to get on. Yep. So it knows. Uh, it's a pretty nice uh, advantage of using the maps for speed because um, it wouldn't know my speed limit is uh, 70 on this road until I hit the first speed limit sign before. And now uh, it knows it even as I'm entering the on-ramp for this highway. So that was pretty nice. But notice my I had cruise control on so it didn't automatically adjust. So what I can do here is just touch the speed limit sign to go to the speed that I normally like to cruise at uh, with my offset. So uh, that's uh, cruise control, speed control. Thanks everybody. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to learn anything else about the Tesla Model 3, just uh, put it in the comments and I'll try to make a video. Uh, if you want to see some of my other videos, they're here in the top right and uh, check out my son's channel, The Nerd Writer. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Day 10.